an eye test starts in rooms like these. They're called examination rooms. And having your eyes tested might sound a little bit scary, but if you've had your eyes tested, then you know that it doesn't hurt at all. Oh, look. This is the first machine that's used to test our eyes. It's called an auto refractor, and it works just like peering through a window. Oh, and this is Dan. Dan's the optometrist who's going to test my eyes to show us how an eye test works. Oh, I can see a red hot air balloon at the end of a road, but it's all blurry. Dan is controlling how the picture looks. Can you hear the whirring sound as he changes it? And now the balloon has become clear. The machine shows him my eye really close up. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. The autorefractor measures how well our eyes focus, and that means how clearly we see something. But to find out how the autorefractor measures this, we need to take a closer look inside the eye. Our eyes need light for us to see. The autorefractor machine shines light into the front of your eye and measures how far it travels. If the eye is working well, the light will reach the retina at the back of your eye. This allows your eyes to see the balloon nice and clearly. If the eyeball is too long, the light doesn't reach all the way to the back of the eye, which means that when the balloon is far away, it becomes blurry. But when it's close up, it becomes clear. Lots of people's eyes are like this. It's called short-sighted. If the eyeball is too short, the light focuses beyond the back of the eye. So when the balloon is close up, it becomes blurry. But when it's far away, the eyes see it clearly. Lots of people's eyes are like this too. It's called long-sighted. If your eyes are short-sighted or long-sighted, the optometrist puts special lenses in your glasses, which makes the light reach the back of your eye perfectly. So, when you wear the right glasses, your eyes can see everything clearly. How clever is that? Remember, you should never shine lights in your eyes at home.